Hello, my name is Annie Campbell. I'm a medical illustrator and animator and welcome back to this channel. Today, I wanted to share with you a video that we recorded as part of our internal training for our artists in our studio and it's really quick tips for drawing faces to make them look beautiful. Quick tips for drawing faces. I've got my iPad here and an iPad pencil so I'm just going to kind of like walk it through and then draw. When you're working with um, line illustrations, line placement is incredibly important as it can have a really dramatic effect on how your characters look and also the age of your characters. Now, if you want a younger character, what you need to avoid is avoid drawing too many lines around the eyes and mouth here, okay? Lines like that can really quickly age your character. So depending if you want a younger looking character, don't draw lines there. If you want to age them, definitely draw lines there. So if you want to quickly age your character, drawing nasal labial folds or vertical wrinkles works really, really effectively. And you can also add a little bit of jowls down here and it really helps with character aging as well. So sometimes this is useful if you're drawing like um, an age progression in, in your medical illustrations, okay? So the next tip that I have usually is um, watch out for real creepy children. Line placement in children is really, really important. I'm sure we've seen all those Renaissance paintings where there's this weird kind of adult looking man child that you see, you know, being held by... So, so babies and younger children, what they have is they have like a really plumper uh, nasal juggle fold and it's just this flap of skin down here at the, at the bridge of your nose. So you, they don't really have that much of a bridge of a nose, it's actually quite a thick piece of skin here. My, my tip here is just to avoid adding any kind of lines here in, in the nose area and that will help like just maintain the kind of young full cheeks that they have. Now speaking of cheeks, even though babies have really really chubby cheeks or if you're like me and you have chubby cheeks, my dentist likes to remind me of that, uh -huh. it's best not to outline them or anything like that. So you don't want to add that, you know, uh, that fold here that I was talking about earlier on. Just leave them. What you can do is achieve the chubby cheeks with the silhouette, with the outline round about here. And that's all you need to kind of simulate chubby cheeks. Here I have like a quick kind of tips of do's and don'ts of drawing faces and this is kind of like stuff that we've seen when we're training up our artists. The number one thing is to never fully outline your lips when you're doing line illustrations, okay? Unless you have a specific style. So doing this is just actually, it makes your character's lips look quite clown-like. And if you're not working with like overlapping lines or anything like that, it can make your lips look really flat as well. And also don't skimp on the eyes, really focus and give love to the eyes there and don't rush this because pupil placement can make your person look really cross-eyed or real weird looking. So give a lot of love to the eyes. Now if you don't know how to draw eyes that well or if your eyes are looking a little bit funky, just do some eye studies and a little bit practice there and trying to draw the shape and form. There's so many free tutorials out there about how to draw eyes correctly as well. It's a three-dimensional spherical shape. And also the next thing is, you know, when we're drawing with line, less is more when it comes to details, okay? So, you know, hair, skin folds, things like that, you know, you don't need all of that line. Just one or two little hints and that's enough to show that there is volume there. If you start to add in stippling details or like extra lines in a neck, it can make it look overbearing or too overly detailed and then you kind of need to balance that out in the rest of your illustrations when it's not really needed. And also it can really quickly age your characters and look, make the skin look like it's really really thin and fragile. If you want to practice more, especially when you're drawing heads, practice is, is definitely key to that. But there's no point in practicing if you're not critiquing or being critiqued by someone. So make sure that you're always critically analyzing the work that you do. I have a couple of resources for you that have really helped me kind of level up my skills in, in figure drawing. Drawing Heads and Hands uh, by Andrew Loomis is, is a really great book on how to learn how to draw figures. Mastering Drawing the Human Figure from Life, Memory and Imagination by Jack Faragasso is also really useful and some YouTube channels to check out is also Proko. Proko is absolutely fantastic and I love the way that he teaches anatomy and how to draw figures and also Cynic's Design is really really useful. They have really great um, tutorials about how to draw specific parts of anatomy like your eyes, your ears, nose, or mouth or anything like that. Um, so those are really useful tips. Anyways, I hope this helps. Comment below if you have other tips or resources about how to draw heads. Um, we'd love to hear it and I'm sure uh, other people watching this video would really find it useful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another video. And thanks so much for watching everyone.